Hey, good morning, everybody. I can see that Buddy's wide awake. Give me his good morning kiss. How are you folks doing? I hope you've had your coffee because today is launch day for AMD's latest line of GPUs. That's right. Now, today I've got right here in front of me the MSI version. Now, this is their gaming card of the new R9 280X. So with that said, let's jump in now and let's do the unboxing. And then at the end, I'll point you over to the full review. Let's go. All right, folks, so here we have it, the MSI Gaming G-Series Twin Frozer Gaming Edition R9280X. For you folks out there who don't know about it, Twin Frozer is these guys' specified cooling, and it's made for their cards and their cards only. It's the overclocked edition, coming overclocked out of the box. And from what I have heard, I do not believe there'll be any reference model of these cards at all. Every single one of them will be specifically designed by the manufacturer. It's recommended by Fnatic. We'll flip it around to the side here. They're just showing you a little couple fan things, what I talked about before. It also supports DirectX 11.2. Flip the card around to the back. They just have some more of their information on here. Their gaming applications, advanced thermal design, which we'll get into when we actually show the card, military class four. All that really means they use the highest quality components. We've talked about this before last week when we unboxed their lightning card. They're a high C cap, solid cap, just all high quality components is what that means. And also something a little bit interesting for those looking to capture video, they have something called the Experience Predator, share for fun. So we'll actually get into that. And with that said, let's just show one more thing on here. This is the nomenclature of the card. So if you want to look these numbers up, get more information or anything, even though we will have it down in the description, you guys can check that out. So there's a little pop cap here. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that. Open the old box up. Like always, there's a box and then 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 a box. But here we go. Oh, upside down box this time. So let's flip it back up on the right side. And here we have the MSI. Now this thing always reminds me of a Ferrari with a dragon inside. It looks like a Ferrari dragon or a dragon Ferrari. So pop that down. Now, you guys have made a bunch of claims to me that you really don't care that much about the accessories, but I have to show them to you guys. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a complete unboxing. So let me just open this up here. You guys have also said that they almost all have the same things in the box. You're right. They mostly do, but there are some variations. Here we have right here, main display port, standard display port adapter, one crossfire cable, nice and flexible there. Six pin, eight pin power connector. Molex to six pin power connector. DVI to VGA connector. The drivers and utilities disc. This will have everything, including all their overclocking software and all that stuff will all be on side of this disc. I would recommend though, however, though, as soon as the card actually gets launched, that you go to the website and make sure you keep updated through all of AMD's software. So pop that off to the side. And then lastly, we have the quick user's guide, yada, yada, yada. All right, we'll get past that. I know you guys want to see the card. Without further ado, the card. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so got a little anti-static tag in the back here. Go ahead and pull that thing off there, pull it on out of the box. You guys can see on the top here, we've got the red and black colors again, very Ferrari-ish with that uh, little logo there again, the Gaming G Series. Now, these guys have all their motherboard lines that actually match these as well. So if you get their Gaming G Edition motherboards or their Gaming Edition motherboards, they'll all have the same type of things. We have two fans here in the front. Underneath that, you guys can see all of the aluminum heat fins. Down here on the bottom, PCI insertion. Gonna just show you guys the side. You guys can see the heat pipes running all along the card. It's a two slot design. Flip it around the back. You guys can once again see the fins. Here is the fan power connector right here. Keep flipping the card around. Actually, I'll do this first. Here we have the six pin, eight pin power connector. We can clearly see the heat pipe radiating on the side here. And here are some of the endpoints for that as well. Just gonna flip the card around real quick so you guys can see they have their little MSI logo here. Then on the side, we see two of the crossfire fingers. Black PCB, you guys always prefer a black PCB. Here's just a little bit more information on the card, just basically saying what it is. Flip it around now, last but not least, to the rear I.O. Single DVI, HDMI, two main display ports. Now, when they first launched, 
the 7970 series cards, they all looked identical to this, but as soon as people started putting on a lot of their aftermarket cooling and stuff, we saw these go to two DVI connectors, and I wonder if that'll be changing with this launch as well. But for now, this is it, folks. 280X new R9 series from AMD. Everything that comes in the box of the new MSI R9 280X. AMD fans, I know you guys have been waiting with almost holding your breath for almost years, waiting for new stuff to come out. Well, it's come out. Now these cards are gonna be priced right around the $299 mark. For all those who are interested in purchasing this, you guys can check out all that information down there in the description below. We'll have links to where you guys can purchase the card, more information, and also, if you're looking for the full on blown out review, check it out over on our website, www.techadamar, which will also be listed down there below. So with that said, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow in probably just a little while.